Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Elephant Rig of the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system. So you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation. And in the case of this elephant, that's a walk. A walk cycle. Let me show you the animation from multiple angles so you can get a better idea of the animation. Um, and just so you know I've animated this on 30 FPS and not on 24 FPS because uh, with the whole creation of, of this rig and this uh, walk cycle I've kept uh, game engine compatibility in mind. So uh, yeah that's why I did that. Cool, uh, let's get back to the features of the rig. Um, first of all, the main purpose of this rig is to uh, is to act as a as a template rig that you can use to rig your own 3D models. So you can use it to rig any type of model which has a similar anatomy to uh, to to that of an elephant. So you can also use it to rig an, uh, a woolly mammoth, for example, or or anything else you can think of which has a sort of a similar anatomy to that of an elephant. Um, cool. The rig comes with um, this block mesh and the whole purpose of this block mesh is is just to uh, to act as a visual guide to get an idea of the placement of uh, of the bones within your own model so you can easily delete it without causing any issues it's just there to help you get an idea of where to place the bones of this rig within your own model so okay let's turn the rig uh, back on and uh, let's go through the main controls of this rig. First of all, we have this position controller, which is there to position the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller, which is there to uh, animate a certain type of trajectory for the uh, rig. We have this uh, uh, root mass controller, which controls both the upper and lower body of the rig. We have this root controller, which only controls the lower body so you can use it to animate a hip sway, for example. We have this uh, tail mass controller, which lets you animate all the tail bones at once. And the same principle with this uh, um, sp uh, spine mass controller, lets you control all the spine bones at once. Uh, the the yet yeah, the the trunk. We have a trunk mass controller. Well, it's set up using a tail limp, but um, yeah, it's 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 uh, to animate all the bones for the trunk at once. And then we have this head controller. And if I turn on the tool tab, you can see that it has this headlock property. And what that does is, well, let me show show uh, showcase that. If I take the neck controller and I move it around, you can see that the orientation of the head follows. But when I toggle this headlock property and I do it again, I move the neck around, you can see that the orientation of the head uh, keeps facing forward. So that's that's nice. Um, okay, uh, on to the leg setup. By default, uh, the leg is set up in IK, but I can easily switch that to FK. Now it's an FK leg. Let's switch back to IK. And uh, let's turn on this auto stretch feature. And what it does is if I move the leg beyond its limit, you can see that the leg stretches out. So that's nice for some cartoony animation. We have a tie twist to correct any deformation in the tie. Um, and we have uh, knee pinning. So you have the knee over here and when I move the leg you can see that the knee follows. But when I turn on knee pinning and I move the leg you can see that the knee stays in place. Okay. On to the foot. Here we have uh, some toe controls to animate all the toes at once. Uh, here we have a foot controller animate the ankle and here we have a foot roll when I move it up or down we can animate a foot roll 
and when you move it sideways you have this banking animation of the foot um, cool uh, I think I've covered all the main features of the elephant rig from the other rig pro rig library but if you have any more questions please feel free to contact me on uh, blender market I'm always happy to help uh, but yeah thank you for watching